So what is a, what is a reverse responder? A reverse responder is a person who, when they have these hormones given to them from outside, being prescribed, they don't react in the way that's anticipated. And in the case of progesterone, they have exact paradoxical responses. What should be calming causes anxiety. What should be helping them sleep keeps them awake. This is something that creates great stress in their lives. This is that reverse response that happens in progesterone. As I mentioned, there's three different ways it does this. The one we're going to discuss today is called the 5-alpha reductase pathway. And that is one of the highways that progesterone can take when it gets into your body. Think about progesterone as just a parent hormone, okay? It's just a, the starting point. And when it gets in your body, progesterone does wonderful things in the body itself, in, in the reproductive section of the body. But it's the metabolites of progesterone that go on to do all this work in the brain. And we want to understand how your body turns the progesterone into those metabolites and how those metabolites get to the brain. You, as a woman, your body is so elegant. When your ovaries generate progesterone in the second half of the cycle, it's at it, it's a certain rate it's done at. And it's a very gentle rate. And that gentle rate gets into the tissue and it does the work it does down, like as I mentioned, breast tissue and ovaries, cervix, uterus, et cetera. But it also goes into the brain and it has that gentle conversion during that second half of the cycle. You're going to get that big surge of progesterone to allopregnenolone, but it is a gentle rate. The thing is, is that when I give you something from the outside in, it could be the perfect ingredient. It's progesterone. It's perfect. Progesterone is awesome. But it doesn't matter. It's, it still could be the same molecular structure as the progesterone you make. But I'm giving to you from the outside in. And that matters. It matters. Because the way we deliver it to you makes all the difference with how it's converted into its downstream metabolites in your body. Similar to testosterone, if you do topical testosterone, you're going to have a high conversion rate to something called dihydrotestosterone, and you're going to have too much dihydrotestosterone, and that's going to give you bad side effects to testosterone. When we give progesterone in different formats and different delivery systems, you're going to have possibly more side effects 